Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of September 25th to October 1st, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are journal readings. They might not resonate for everyone. But if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right. Let's see your energy first. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of cancer in regards to love for this week. What is the energy of cancer in regards to love for this week? Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> cancer, cancer the crab. What's the energy of cancer the crab in regards to love for this week? Here we go. First card, woo, geez. First card is the devil. Okay. Starting out strong here. Tell me more, what's Cancer's energy in regards to love for this week? We also have the Page of Pentacles. And we also have the Ace of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, in regards to your, current, um, your energy, for the week, Page of Swords to the Justice card to the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm, I see. We also have the Ace of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. This Ace of Pentacles, it kind of it kind of looks like the the Pentacle that this page is um, offering, holding in 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 their hands. So it does kind of look like someone is extending themselves out to you, Cancer. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Judgment, Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, someone's making like a move on you, like um, making a move towards you. Taking some sort of action towards you. Um, they're extending themselves out to you with the Page of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. But they are connected to the devil. Could be a Capricorn. Um, I, you might be viewing this person as the devil with the Page of Swords. I feel like you kind of don't, don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. Or you're not sure if you should trust this person. They, they give you some sort of bad vibe. They do. They give you some sort of bad vibe. You are connected to the justice card here. So, okay. Sorry about that noise. Somebody made a, some, that was a horn or something. A car horn. Give me a second. All right. So you don't really trust this person. You're connected to the justice card. So you're not really interested in, in someone who plays games or in someone who just wants to like have fun with you. Um, you know, you're not really interested in, in people who are deceptive or who are coming towards you with lies. Justice card, the justice card is all about like doing things the right way and doing things correctly. And I feel like that's what you want. That's what you want to come towards you and that's what you want to be associated with. You know, like people who have ethics and people who have morals, pe people who have a sense of justice, people who are fair. And you're looking at this person like, you don't believe that that's what they are. You believe that they're the opposite that they have no morals, that they're all about playing games, 
that they're just trying to use you, that they're one-sided. And with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you I feel like you're just trying to like focus on yourself, um, focus on your work, career, finances. Um, you're you're keeping yourself busy and you're keeping yourself occupied with your own um, with your own projects, with your own endeavors, or with your own work. And you don't want to be disturbed, or you don't want someone to come towards you to bring chaos, you know, into your life and to disrupt your life, to, un to, to unbalance you, or to like bring uh, in unstable energy. But this person is coming towards you um, acting like they want to make things right with you with the Page of Pentacles. This might be someone who's coming towards you with an, apo with an apology. Wanting to start over here with you with the Ace of Wands. Hmm. And you're just kind of looking at them like you don't believe them at all. You don't trust them and you don't believe them at all. You're very suspicious of them. You're very skeptical about them. Skeptical of them. Okay. Let me do a little clarification. And then we'll go to the other side. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Swords connected to Cancer. So this might be someone who you were in a relationship with or that was the goal, that was the plan to be in a relationship with this person, but it looks like they might have sabotaged things with you. They sabotaged the relationship with you, and I, I do feel like there's an apology here. Some form of, a, of an apology coming towards you. All right. Tell me about the Page of Swords connected to Cancer. Uh, yeah, look, we have the Seven of Swords. Like I said, you don't trust this person. Page of Swords to the Seven of Swords. You don't trust this person. You feel like they're sneaky. You feel like they're deceptive. You feel like they're wearing a disguise. You feel like, you know, they're, they're manipulative. So you definitely have a very negative outlook on them. And you're very protective of your, um, I, I see that you're very protective of your peace, you know, of your peace, of your balance, your, your personal stability. These are things that you value right now. M more than anything, it feels like this is what you're valuing and what you're protecting more than anything, your, your peace and your, your stability, personal stability. You don't want anyone to come towards you and bring chaos or drama or, or burdens or issues. Hmm. Okay. What is this... Um, Justice to the Eight of Pentacles spirit. Tell me about the Justice card to the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're kind of looking at this person like, like, what do you want? You know, like, what do you want? What are you after? What are you trying to do? I know you're trying to do something. What are you trying to do? You know, what are you, what are you trying to get away with? Yeah, 
Like, whatever it is, I know it's not good, you know? Whatever you're trying to do, I know it's not good. You feel like this person's toxic. What's the justice to the Eight of Pentacles spirit connected to Cancer? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, some of you are like just very focused on your work. Like I said, your work, career, finances, you're, you're working towards a goal. You're working hard towards some sort of specific goal that is for yourself. Yeah, it looks like you're, you have a lot of concentration here. You're very concentrated on, on some sort of goal that you want to achieve for yourself. And that can be many different things, but it feels like it's, it's for you. It's not for anybody else. It's for you, you know? So you definitely have this boundary here, this, this strong line of boundary or this strong, what do you call it? This strong boundary. You're not letting this person get too close to you. Or, or get too close to the things that you value and that mean, mean a lot to you. Okay. Well, let's move on to your person. I'll come back here. Potential. Probably. All right. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person that Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, September 25th to October 1st, 2023. What is this person's energy for the week and what is their energy towards Cancer? Let's see. What is this person's energy towards cancer for the week? All right, first card in regards to whoever you're connecting to cancer, we have the seven of pentacles, okay. Could be um, a Taurus. We also have the Four of Pentacles, could be a Capricorn. Let's get one more card. What is this person's energy towards Cancer for the weak spirit? And we also have the Eight of Wands, could be a Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. In regards to their energy towards you, Five of Swords, woo. Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Well, what do you know? And look at this, the Fool. Well, no wonder you don't trust them. That makes sense. Hmm. Oh, geez. Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I think you're right, Cancer. Look at this energy. This is very deceptive. Sneaky energy and deceptive energy. So they are... um. These these cards are kind of confirming what you what you're perceiving from this person. What you're mentally perceiving or intuitively perceiving uh, of them. I do feel like this person has some sort of agenda, some sort of hidden secret agenda. The Fool to the Ace of Cups to the Knight of Wands to the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, look at them headed towards you. We already established that you are the Eight of Pentacles. That's already been established over there. So this is them headed towards you. Confirmation that they're headed towards you. Knight of Wands to the Eight of Pentacles. This is you kind of minding your own business, right? Um, Eight of Pentacles. You're minding your own business. You're you're in your you're in your bubble, you're in your world, just focused on you and focus on, on whatever you're trying to achieve for yourself, whatever you're working on. And here they here they come towards you to 
kind of disrupt your flow, I guess you can say. This is like you're in, you're in your flow and, and here they come to disrupt your flow. Mm -hmm. And they're coming towards you with the Fool and the Ace of Cups. Which you already had an Ace over there, you have an Ace of Wands, and they have an Ace of Cups. So they are definitely trying to have some sort of new beginning with you. The Fool also represents um, having a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's look a little bit deeper into their energy. So they have the Seven of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Again, Eight of Wands is an energy of um, someone uh, headed towards you with communication. I don't like the fact that they go from the seven to the four. I am getting a little bit of a selfish energy from this person with this, with these two cards, seven of pentacles to the four of pentacles. It, it actually goes down. It doesn't go up. It's seven to four, not four to seven. So there's something about this person not wanting to, they, they don't want to actually give anything. So this page of pentacles is it's kind of fake, you know. It's kind of fake whatever this person is extending extending out to you. It's it's a little bit of a fake energy, which is why it's connected to the devil here. And also the 7 of swords tells me that this person is bringing towards you a lot of fake energy. All right. Let's see if we can clarify a little bit. It does look like this person has some sort of grudge um, against you, Cancer, with the Five of Swords. They're holding some sort of grudge. Um, and also with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this person has done a lot of thinking and analyzing and planning. You know, so, so when this person shows up, um, in your inbox or however it is that they show up, you know, they, they've done a lot of analyzing and they've done a lot of thinking before, before they take action, before they took action towards you or, be, or before they take action towards you. It's not like random, it's not spontaneous. It's something that they've been like planning for a while. There, there's some sort of strategy connected to their actions towards you. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get something. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles spirit. Yeah. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and this person's energy towards Cancer. We have, oh, okay, we have the two of wands. So again, this person has been like, they've actually been indecisive. They've actually been back and forth, you know, um, wondering, should I, should I not? Should I go to cancer? Should I not go to cancer? Should I say something? Should I not say something? You know, they've been very back and forth about taking action towards you. And again, it does look like it's because this person's carrying some sort of grudge or there's some sort of bitterness here that they have towards you. Anything about that spirit, the Five of Swords? Tell me about the Five of Swords. We have here the Four of Cups. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, first of all, first of all, this person, it kind of looks like they're bitter 
about the fact that they have to come toward you at all, that they feel like they have no choice but to come toward you and, uh, and to take action towards you. They feel like they have no choice, so they are kind of upset about that. Yeah, they're upset about that because um, I either this person was hoping that you would come towards them at some point. I feel like this person was hoping that you would like chase them or that you would like reach out to them and, you know, come looking for them. And it looks like you didn't do that. It looks like you just kind of decided to keep to yourself and focus on your own stuff, you know, your own your own projects and goals or your work. So you didn't chase this person. And I feel like that's something that upsets them. I also feel like they're upset at the fact that they haven't been able to replace you. That's also something that they're bitter about. They haven't been able to replace you because it kind of looks like this person um, has other options or they've been you know, exploring their options but nothing is satisfying them. Nothing is satisfying them. So they feel like, they feel like, sorry, they feel forced to come back toward you because you're the only one that they see as valuable. You're the only person that they see as truly valuable. Mm -hmm. and none of these other options have any value to them only you do so they have no options and you're not chasing them you're not reaching out to them so they feel like I guess I'll, I guess I'll have to take action towards cancer I guess I have no other choice you know I feel like that's kind of their energy here They've been holding back for a while with the Four of Pentacles. It feels like a very stubborn energy. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, Spirit. Why the Four of Pentacles in this person's energy towards Cancer? Okay. Oh, okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles again. Hmm. It's interesting because they're holding a pentacle in their hands. Hmm. Um, well, I'm not understanding this person. I don't understand their issue, honestly, because it does look like they want some sort of um, stability in their life. They they want some some sort of stability. They want stability in their life. They want stability in their life. But I feel like they're doing everything to go against it. To go against their own desires. It feels like they're going against themselves. They're they're sabotaging themselves. It, this feels like ego. It feels like some, some sort of like ego or stubbornness energy. I feel like this person's making things more complicated than it needs to be, you know? They're making things more complicated for themselves more than it needs more than they need to. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're just dealing with someone who's like very rebellious here. Like, they know what they want, and they know what they have to do, but they refuse to do it because of ego, you know? It's that type of energy. Or like, they want to feel important in some way. I'm, I'm, I'm also getting that with the fool. Like, they just want, they want to feel important. They want attention. Hmm. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they've been holding back because they want you to make them feel important. That's why. 
That's why they've been holding back. They've been they they've been waiting for you to to take action towards them. But it's like they're the ones who sabotage the relationship. So why would you take action towards them, you know? I don't feel like this person is seeing that. Or they're seeing that, but they just don't care. With the full card, they have a little bit of an I don't care attitude. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and their energy towards Cancer. Why the Seven of Swords? We have the Temperance. You see, this person has been waiting. They've been waiting with the Knight of Pentacles and the Temperance card. They've been kind of like taking their time and just doing things very, very slowly and, you know, kind of stretching, stretching time as, as far as possible. And the reason why they've been stretching time, I feel like one is because they've been trying to replace you and two is because they want you to, they, they've been waiting for you to chase them and to, you know, to come looking for them so that they can feel important, you know? Just, I'm just being honest. That's what I see here. Okay, so Cancer, um, I I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person, and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you, especially for this week, and then I'll take a look at the outcome. What's going to end up happening between you and this person moving forward? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.